Hello guys, this is again Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Uh, today I, ha I have a pleasure to present to you another fantastic war game. Uh, at my do doorsteps a couple of days ago, I found the new game uh, for me. Uh, I know that a lot of players around the world know the F Warfighter theme and the Warfighter series. But this is the first time when I bought a game from, 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 from the series. I had the chance to take part in the Kickstarter campaign launched like um, 10, 10 months ago. And I decided to go for the Pacific variant. There were, the campaign was mainly focusing on the new additions, yeah? so expansions, but you also were, were able to get the main game. So today I will be showing to you what do we have in Warfighter, uh, the Pacific. Part, but also the two expansions which I got, so this will be Guadalcanal, yeah, but without further delay, let us check the box, this is very heavy, sturdy box, let me open it, what do we have inside, first and foremost we have a rule book, for the people used to the DVG games, I think this is a pretty standard format, yes, uh, the graphics are uh, plenty of space, so even if you think that the rule book has like 50, 52 pages, this is not a dense text. There is a lot of examples, a lot of pictures which shows you what and how to do. War, Warfighter, in essence, is a tactical um, game of uh, uh, where you and up to five of your colleagues, so this is from one to six players, are trying to beat in this solo experience uh, the, the, the enemy, the system. Okay, then what do we have here? We have a board. Okay, pretty big. Let me open it for you so you can see it here. Yeah. Hopefully, you should see most of this. Yeah, Warfighter, World War II. So here will be our map where we'll be playing uh, the game. Here we have event deck, a location deck, a hostile deck, also action deck and mission cards. Here will be mission time, also the setup, attack chart, attack sequence and turn sequence. So you have most of the important parts of the game already on the map. So you don't need to check in the rules, of course. Some details you would need to check, but, but a lot of stuff is already pre-printed on the map. Then we have the tokens. Okay, beautiful. They might need some counter clipping, but maybe not so much as usually the counters need. Let me see how many of them we have. Yeah, there are some uh, action markers. There are some supplies, ammunition, okay, not as many, you know, tokens as in, for example, in squad leader, but still some, and grenades, which are uh, silver, yeah, okay, uh, I have so reasonable amount of, of tokens, I like it. Here. And here we have the missions. What do we have here? Wake Island Offensive, of course, because you can defend on Wake Island, as you is true, but you can also go on offensive when it was being retaken. We have Market Garden. Hmm, that's very interesting. I have a feeling it might be here either by mistake or maybe it was corrected for the owners of the main Warfighter game. Market Garden wasn't in Pacific, was it? The same for Dan Creek. Okay. Again, okay, then we have Wake Island Defense. Uh, this is Duna Station on Offensive. Mike Island. Oh, of course, Guadalcanal Invasion. About this, we'll talk in a moment with expansion. Tarava. Uh, really interesting battle. Played a lot. Uh, did it Tarava and also recently Tarava 1943 from other yeah, publishers, so definitely something I would like to play. Iwo Jima, okay, and then we have, of course, uh, the shit to keep track 
of, of all the input elements of a campaign. Here we have player eight, I think so, yeah. And what made this so heavy? Tons of decks. Action deck, soldier cards. Uh, this is the Japanese, the, uh, the weapons. Uh, let me just try to open some of this, maybe not everything, but some of those, yeah. Let me see. Uh, I would need to think how to store all those cards and how to group them. Seems an important factor for a quick game setup. Yeah, opening this. So. Okay, let us have a look. What do we have? Japan Elite. We have here... Okay, harassing force. Japanese harassing force, for example. Here we have a holdout. Here we have another holdout. Okay, these are Japanese elite troops. Here we have skill cards. Okay, good. Pistols and SMG. Fine. I think this game is really, really deep on a tactical level. It would be fun yeah, to put this into the good use. And play with the bodies, yeah. So we should be fine. Skills, then we have some equipment cards. Okay. And weapon. Oh, let me see. Subtle charge. Yeah, pretty important in all those fights. Okay. We'll not go through all the decks, guys. It would be definitely too much. I would need to find out and sort out how, how, how to store those cards. What do we have? Here, yeah, the six-sided dice, and I think the ten die, yeah, ten-sided also. And that would be for the basic Pacific game, but that's not all what I have for you today, because we have also two expansions. So the Guadalcanal and Guadalcanal 2 yeah, expansions, which are adding additional cards to this game. Let's see what it brings. Of course, some Japanese squads, Feverish Soldier, Tree Sniper, oh, that's interesting. Uh, Last Stand, again, Feverish Soldier, so it seems like it could be increased difficulty. Uh, Banzai, Kamikaze, yeah, definitely that could increase the difficulty of defending. Then we have a location cards. Okay, the new locations. These are all the location cards. Yeah, Henderson Field, of course, a very important airfield uh, about which the, the battle was raging on. Then we have objective cards. Let me see all the objectives here. Okay. Then we have mission cards. New mission cards. Scout, seek and destroy, okay, types of mission cards. Uh, situations, uh, four situations, tropical squall, battle fatigue, Tokyo Express, and concealed caches, okay. Some additional equipment, fine, some additional skills, like two of them. And soldier cards. Mm, in Warfighter, we have player uh, uh, soldiers. So actually, the soldiers which you are playing very closely with, with their actions and so on and so forth. But you also have a squad soldiers and uh, non-player soldiers, yeah, where you are not directly, you know, leading them, but they are like part of of, of your group, of your platoon, of your squad. So that was a very, very brief look into the Warfighter, uh, what's in the box. Definitely I will be playing this game. Uh, probably I will try first uh, alone, yeah, solitary, to, to, to learn the game. But uh, I would love to, 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 to play a good cooperative game with my buddies. Uh, there are not so many games which you can play nicely cooperatively. And I have a feeling that Warfighter would be one, one of them. Yeah. 
and uh, against against the system against routes. Of course, I will bring as soon as possible, as soon as I'm more fluent with the game, the expansion of Battle Canal One and Two decks. Yeah, so this definitely will be used, and uh, I will do reports from this, and of course maybe some 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 uh, reviews and first impression articles. That's all for today uh, from me. Thank you very much for being with me. If you like this video, please give thumbs up. If you would like to see more content like this, kindly please subscribe. Uh, I'm a small content creator, so any su subscription uh, would be very, very helpful for me for the board game screen. Thank you very much and bye for today.